guys, happy Tuesday. Please enjoy the little birdies. They're giving us a nice morning sing along on our backtrack. Um, a while back, some contractors cut down two of these trees, so they are just trying to find a place to live. So they found it on top of people's houses and inside people's houses. Back to the workout. Today we're going to look at Long Beach. Long Beach um, for the home and the uh, regular programming is very similar. Um, the burpee variation is the only difference. So that's what we're going to look at today. Long Beach is one round, 160 double unders, 800 meter run, 40 bar facing burpees. If you're on the home version, it is just regular burpees. Two rounds, 80 double unders, 400 meter run, 20 bar facing burpees, and burpees if you're on the home version. Then three rounds, 40 double unders, 200 meter run, 10 bar facing burpees, or burpees if you're on the home gym version. So the movement details that we're gonna look at is the bar facing burpees and the regular burpees, and then the rest you guys know, the run and the double unders, stay consistent with those. Moving on to movement details, we're going to talk about the bar facing burpees and the burpees. Um, the double unders and the run, you know, just stick to what you know, what you know um, for those. For the bar facing burpees, you're going to set a barbell with plates on it, even though we're not going to use the barbell today except to jump over. Make sure when you do your burpee, you're facing the barbell in the bottom of the burpee. You can jump or step off the ground in that burpee. Um, but RX is jumping over the bar, just so you know that. Jump with two feet over the bar. You do not have to stand in full extension, um, but going back to the RX thing, you can step out of your burpee and step into your burpee and be RX, but you have to jump over the bar to be RX. Be strategic. If you're a person who's trying to refine your skills and be more efficient and stuff like that, when you're doing your burpee, when you jump over, slowly start turning your body so that when you get back and you hit those feet to the ground, you're now ready to get back in that burpee. It takes some time and some strategy, but basically you're, you're gonna start turning in your jump over the bar. For the burpees, these are standard burpees requiring chest and thighs to hit the floor in full extension with a clap overhead. That is for the home version. Movement substitutions. For the double unders, you can do single unders. You do 320, 160, and then 60. Or you can do time cap double unders each set. You will time cap yourself at 3 minutes, 1 minute, 30 seconds, and 45 seconds. Over and back dumbbell hops, you'll half the reps for dumbbell hops. The line hops will equal the reps, or double taps will equal the reps. For the run, for the 200 meter substitution, you do a 250 meter row. 12 to 9 calories in the salt bike, or 15 to 10 meter shuttle runs. For the 400 meter run, you can do a 500 meter row, 25 to 18 calories in the salt bike, or 30 times 10 meter shuttle runs. For the 800 meter uh, run, you can do a 1,000 meter row, 50 to 35 calories in the assault bike, or 60 times 10 meter shuttle runs. On to tips and tricks. This is a longer body weight movement workout if you're doing the home version. If you are, it's still a longer workout with just one um, a, a piece of equipment, which is the barbell to jump over. Reps get smaller, but rounds increase as the workout goes. This should take you about 25 to 30 minutes. If you can do 100 plus double unders unbroken, complete the workout as written. If you cannot do 100 double unders unbroken, be sure to um, go to Sugar Watt and look at some variations for that. For your 160 double unders, you should do this in 3 minutes or less. 80 double unders, 1 minute and 30 seconds or less. 40 double unders, 45 seconds or less. Find a rhythm to your breathing that allows you to move forward. On the run, try to inhale 2 seconds, exhale 2 seconds. In the burpee, exhale once at the bottom, once at the top. On the double unders, keep the face and upper body relaxed to allow for better airflow. The more tense you get, the less you can breathe, the more you tense up your respiratory system. The five rounds that follow the opening round are really the majority of the workout. You look at the workout and you're like, first round, gotta get past that, a lot of reps. But really, the reps add up. Um, you cannot win this workout in the beginning. So even if you go fast in the first round, just because that's all the um, big numbers, it, when you go on, there's more rounds. So once you finish the first round, you have 280 double unders left, 1,000 meters of running, and 70 burpees. 
So you still have a significant amount of that workout, almost as much as you do in the first round, sometimes and more than that. So use this first round or first, like uh, yeah, the first round as your primer. Maintain it or build it upon your opening round speed as you go along. Start smart and finish strong. Smooth is fast and fast is smooth. That's all I have for you guys today for those tips and tricks. If you have any questions, let me know. I will be um, in the gym and that kind of stuff to help all of you guys. I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.